Welcome back to Canva Tips for Authors. Today we are going to talk about making a very simple website in Canva. Now Canva has had the facility to make websites for a while, but it's been a bit, um, but there's been some doubt as to whether or not Google will index these websites. And we now know that they, it does. It's a bit slow, but it does. So it's worth doing. What Canva makes isn't a true website. What it makes is a really long landing page with internal links. So you can make it look a bit like a website. Anyway, I'll talk you through how to make one. So we're going to start with create design, search for website and click it and it will open up. While we're waiting, I can tell you that I'm Jeevani Charika. I write romantic comedy and women's fiction as Jeevani Charika and as Rhoda Baxter. And I also have this channel where I teach you, the authors, how to use Canva better for your book marketing. Okay, so this opens in preview mode and you've got what looks like just a standard Facebook post. So what this is, is this is your page one, if you like. And what you can do is basically design it in any way you want. Now, this is a little overwhelming. So you can look at, there's a whole load, of, when you click on the design tab, there's a whole load of templates here that you could use. So there's templates where they're already designed. So if you find something where you like the layout and you like the, the lettering or you like the colors, you can choose one that's already been designed or you can choose some layouts, which are also quite useful. So for example, you could have your front page here where you could have, I don't know, your title, or sorry, your name and a little bit about your fiction and a nice video maybe, or a, a nice image. And then you could have a second page, which has your books in it, something like that might work very well. You could drag and drop your book covers in. You'd have to um, adjust the styling and everything. Or if you didn't want to use templates, you could just start from scratch. So rather than go through me adding my details, in true Blue Peter style, here's one I made earlier. So that's my name, heartwarming romantic fiction. So page one was going to be about me. So I put a picture of me in with a little border around it and stuff about me goes here. And then the next one was going to be my books. So rom-com books and women's fiction books. Okay, so let's give these titles. Now this, if you click on this little notes here, so this one will be home. Okay. Next one, oopsie, uh, look at notes. And this is about me. This one is rom-coms and this one is women's fiction. And then you can add more pages as you go if you wanted to. Right now, what we want is we can either add a menu ourselves or we can get it to add a menu later. But one of the things I want to add here is social media icons. OK, we've got a whole lot of logos here, so let's add that one and that one and that one. I don't know if it's any point adding Twitter. Let's not bother. Okay. And I'll pop those in here. Make them. I should have selected the ball and made them the same size, shouldn't I? Never mind. In fact, let's do that. Control Z to undo. Let's select all three. Let's right click layers, 
I find working through the layers menu means that I, I'm less likely to select gobbins that I don't want. Right, all three selected. Let's make them tiny, tiny. Another thing that you can do to make them spaced evenly is to select all three, go to position, go to arrange, and tidy up. And that should tidy them up so that they're spaced evenly. Okay, so right. Now, links. To add a link, so click on the Instagram icon and click on link. Get hold of your link. and paste it. And now, when they click on there, it should take them to Instagram. So you can do that for all of these things. And then for your books, you can obviously link them to your shop, whichever shop you prefer to use. Okay. All right, so you've got basically a single scrolling website. Now you can go to Publish website. Now there's lots of options here. So we'll start with, let's have with navigation because I think navigation is always important. You can use a free Canva domain or you can purchase a domain through Canva, or you can use your existing domain. So, you know, I could use jivanicharika.com and it would reroute to here. But because I already have a website which is on WordPress, I don't want to do that. You could also use a subdomain if you wanted. Let's have a look. So. This is a subdomain that I have. Connect to Google domains. Okay, right, that's gonna take a while, so let's not do that. Let's just use a free domain. So the free domain is canva.com forward slash something, something, something. And sometimes it would be, okay, so it's jeeve.mycanva, my.canva.site. This is quite useful especially if you're doing temporary things like i don't know you've got a promotion on um and you want to direct people to this website i often do that so i'll, I'll make a, a website use the canva url use bitly to make a short link that's easier to remember because you can't share long links easily on places like tiktok and instagram um, write a little bit of your description it's quite important you say what this page is about. So mine would be Jeevanicharika, author, writer of romance novels and women's fiction novels. All of the keywords that I want people to find me for should go in here. And then you can have advanced settings. So search engine visibility is enabled and link preview is enabled so that when people hover over the link, they can see where they're going to go, which is good from a trust perspective. Um, you can password protect your page, which is quite handy if you want to have a, I don't know, if you're doing a course or something, or you just want to give your newsletter people a page that only they can look at, you just send them the link and the password. We're not going to do that here, right? And then we can hit publish. And it will do my design. and it'll publish your website. Now view website. So look, you've got a little menu up there. Click on it, it goes to the right page. So it behaves like a website or if people want to, they can just scroll. And you can make really, really beautiful things this way. So yeah, 
If you don't have a website and you want one that's quick and easy to make and beautiful, this might be something that you're interested in. Now, this has been a fairly quick fire way of showing you how to use Canva to make a website. If this went too fast for you or it didn't go into enough detail, if you would like me to do a workshop where we take like an hour or two and you bring all your assets and you end up with a website at the end of it, I can do that. Let me know if it's something that's of interest to you. Pop a note in the comments or email me or get in touch on socials. I'm at Jeevani Charika author on most of them, apart from Twitter, where I'm still Rhoda Baxter. Yeah, and I will, I will see if I can arrange that for you. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please tell all your friends. And if you are an author who wants to talk to other authors about using Canva for their book marketing, come and join the free Facebook group. The link is in the description. If there's anything you'd like me to do a tutorial about, please pop a note in the comments and I will see what I can do for you. Okay, thank you for your time.